All a theme is, is a collection of files that make your WordPress website look and feel a certain way to the end user. Let's get started. You'll be, first you'll want to be logged into your WordPress admin, then click appearance and themes, then click add new. So this first way I'm showing you is how to install a free theme that you can search through the wordpress.org theme database and install. So from here, you can browse different themes based on featured themes, popular themes, the latest added themes, or if you're looking for a theme that has a specific feature, you can click feature filter. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can select specific colors, layout, other features and the subject. So maybe you're a photo blogger and you want to select photo blogging. For this example, I'm just going to say, let's say I want a theme that has a left sidebar. You know, right sidebars are so common. Let's go with left this time. So I'll click left sidebar, then apply filters. And now I will have a bunch of themes filtered all that have the option of having a left sidebar. So let's find one that I might want to test out. And some of these examples don't have the left sidebar in the preview, but there will be an option that you can set to make it a left sidebar. But here's one, it's pretty clear that there's a left sidebar there. I'm going to click details and preview. And that'll bring up a screen where I can see the details, some details about the theme, and then see an actual preview of what the theme looks like. Anytime you preview a theme, it's important to note that the preview does not affect your website. Even if you install a theme, it does not affect the current state of your website as far as what the end user sees. So I am going to go ahead and, you know, this is kind of nice, it's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and install the theme. So I'll click install. Now I'm going to come to a page that says live preview, activate or return to, th or return to theme installer. Live preview is a little different than the preview I've just did. Live preview will actually now, now that the theme is installed, it will now show me what my website would look like if I were to activate this theme. And it's not too bad. Um, I mean, it's really not that bad. So if I wanted to, I can click save and activate. And this is what my website would look like but I have a theme that's installed and I customized it and I really don't want to mess that up. So I'm just going to click the X and return back to my theme installer. And now an important note, you'll see that, um, actually I don't want to go back to my theme installer. I want to go back to my themes page. So I'm going to click appearance and themes and I'll be back at my themes page. So you'll see that I have a bunch of themes installed. You can have as many themes as you want installed in your WordPress website, but you can only have one active theme. And the active theme is going to be what the people see on the front end of your website. So if you look, I just previewed this one, but if I go to my website now, you're not going to see anything relating to the theme that I just previewed. This is my website. This is what all of the users will always see until I click activate on one of these other themes. So now let's say you have a premium theme that you want to install. So a premium theme is a theme that you paid for. Typically you would go to an outside website that sells themes for use. Some, play, some would be witty themes, woo themes, theme forest, and others. And typically when you get a premium theme, you'll get a zip folder. And in that zip folder will be the theme files. So WordPress has now made it super easy for installing a premium fo file that is a zip folder. Uh, 
previously you would have to log in to your website via FTP and upload the file manually. Not anymore. So click Appearance, Themes, or if you were already on the themes page, you didn't have to do that, and still click Add New. So the same steps as earlier, but rather than using the criteria here to search for a theme, you'll click Upload Theme. So from here, all you do is click Choose File, locate the file, which is right here, click Open, and then Install Now. Now WordPress will install that theme for you. And once it's installed, you'll come to a window that looks very similar to the one before, where you will have a live preview, or you can activate, or you can return back to the themes page. So let's go ahead and live preview this. So it'll be the same as before. Again, I'm live previewing the theme. This is what my website would look like if I installed the theme right now. I'm sorry, I misspoke. If I should activate the theme right now. So if I'm going to go to my website, you'll see even though I'm live previewing it, my website looks exactly as it does right now. The only way that this would change is if I clicked save and activate. And there's obviously some customization that I'll need to do and some settings I would need to fix if I wanted to go with this theme. So I'm not going to go ahead and save and activate it at this time. So I'll click the X to get out of there and return to my themes page. That's it. That's how you install a WordPress theme to your website. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.